Hi class, this is Miss Miller and today we're going to evaluate the text from a different lens. So we're looking at uh, the pearl once again and uh, we want to go beneath the surface. So typically in an English class uh, you might find that we look at a text and we say, okay, what's the plot? What's the rising action? What's the climax? What's the f uh, falling action? And what's the resolution? Or you might um, be at a time in the text where the discussion is about the levels of characterization. What does this character look like? What do they say? Uh, who do, how do they interact with other characters? What do the other characters think about them? You might even discuss... Uh, the theme that seems to be very common. You know, what's the central idea of the text and uh, how do the characters portray this? What would be uh, some examples of figurative language in the text? And so today I sort of want to move beyond that. Uh, we can cover that, but I want to go beyond it and just dig a little bit deeper and sort of really examine the text through a new lens. And it's, it is called a critical theory. And the one I want to look at, you probably have heard of before, is a feminist approach, a feminism in the pearl. And so this is a movement or a philosophy, it's, it's, it's uh, evolving, but the idea is that many people argue that in both literature and in society, it's, it, it's criticized for being quite patriarchal, which means that um, the argument is that texts are typically created by men. In this case, yes, it's John Steinbeck. Um, it's ruled by men, so even the characters in the text, I mean, everything is sort of evolves around the men, in our case, Kino. It's viewed through the eyes of men and judged by men, almost as if there is no female audience. We've sort of been excluded from the equation. Uh, so a feminist uh, job is to come in and reevaluate the text. So another component of feminist approach to literature is, is to make the assumption that women just are not smart. Um, and, and that is portrayed in the book. And so you might see evidence where the women are not too bright, they have minor roles, they have very little uh, contribution in terms of the development of the theme. And so they're not very smart. And, and not only are they not very smart, but the women have a tendency to accept this role very easily, at least in the text and in society oftentimes. And oft, as we know, uh, literature is a reflection of the society during that time in many cases. So it, when I hear, when I, when I discuss this, the one of the things that come to mind is what if Kino and, and Juana's child was a girl instead of, of a, a little baby boy. Would they have gone through so much uh, to help to heal this child as, as they did with um, our little one here? Would they have gone to such great lengths? And that's part of a feminist approach is they start to examine everything with, uh, with a fine tooth comb. So um, the goal of a feminist approach is to reevaluate texts uh, that are, you know, older texts where they're, dominantly, where they're predominantly written by men, and they want to find and expose examples or evidence of misogyny. And that is basically misogyny is any type of uh, examples of negative attitudes towards women. And we know that in the Pearl, there are plenty of examples where the women may not have been treated um, as well as the men. And we even talked about it last week, how uh, Kino was just so quick to, you know, be violent towards his wife, Juana. And we talked about the, how Steinbeck made that or sort of justified that behavior. And part of it is because of the time in which it was written and the, the portrayal of women and, and the value that they placed on women and why it was so acceptable during this time. So a, a feminist approach, you don't have to be a woman to, to, to evaluate the text, but now you're just looking to find examples of where women are treated unfairly, where there's a, a, a negative attitude towards the women in the text. One important element of looking at a feminist 
uh, perspective is you have to ask yourself, does, does the woman act in any way subservient to the man? And we know that Juana is very subservient to her husband in several cases. Um, does the man treat the woman like an adult? So those are different things that you want to look at when we examine the pearl tomorrow from a feminist perspective. And another element uh, would be the female experience. What is Juana's experience? You know, we focus so much on the baby and we focus so much on Kino, but what if we read through the text and this time our focus or emphasis was on Juana and we just followed her behavior? How is she portrayed through the text? Right. What aspects of a feminine life are included in the work um, as it relates to her? So that's going to be our focus for tomorrow. We're going to really be able to understand this concept as we dig deeper and actually engage in the activity for the group collaboration. But some questions to think about as you do this, and I want you to think about it. Um, tonight would be, you know, what stereotypes of women are present? Um, are the female characters oversimplified? Are they considered weak or foolish or excessively naive? Um, do the female characters play major or minor roles in the action of the work? So think about even um, Kino's brother, his wife. There was she had she had a very little contribution to the text. You could take a look at that too. Um, are these women supportive or independent? And to some degree, we know that Juana is quite um, dependent on her husband. Is she powerless or strong? You know, did Steinbeck <clears throat> give her power or did he make her weak? Right? And then um, how do the male characters talk about the female characters? Um, how do they feel to uh, about them? How do they act towards them? Um, so those are just things to think about for the feminist approach. So tomorrow, please be prepared. Have your book with you. Um, do the Cornell style notes for today's lecture. It's super short, as you can see. So think about that. It's just a feminist perspective or a feminist pro approach. And really, in a nutshell, it's reevaluating the text and seeing where the portrayal of women are negative. And then we need to evaluate that and see, you know, <clears throat> re-examine it. And how can we achieve balance? How can we analyze a piece of literature? Literary scholars have developed many different perspectives to look at literature with. One of these perspectives is the feminist perspective. But what is feminist literary criticism? Feminist criticism focuses primarily on the portrayal of women in a piece of literature. It also looks at the gender of authors and how that impacts the text. There are a variety of feminist approaches that have been developed. One of the first approaches, called the first wave of feminism, looks at the way that men treat women in a piece of literature. Often this approach 